hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back for another tutorial we're gonna be getting into this hair and makeup look today i'm so glad that i filmed it because it came out so bomb i put this look together for a little night out and yeah it just came together like so well if you want to see how i got this look just make sure to keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that way you get notified anytime that i make a new upload oh before i get started i wanted to let you guys know that I chopped all my hair off. It's all gone. <laughs> it's super short right now. This is kind of what it's looking like. I am going to be talking more about that later. Um, let me just go ahead and give you guys all the details about this wig install because I do have a new wig that I'm going to be installing for today's look. Thank you so, so much to Mega Look Hair Company for sending over this unit and sponsoring today's video. They sent over this really cute wig, guys. It's like this light brown color. It's got blonde highlights and like light pink highlights. It's such a vibe like it's it's so cute and the hair came pre-curled already so i didn't have to do much styling for it as soon as i pulled it out of the packaging i was like so excited to install this wig as always i'm going to place all of the information for this wig down below in the description box definitely check it out this wig is so so cute it's really full and dense so it has a ton of volume on it the wig that i'm wearing is i think it's 24 inches long so it's giving length as well i do believe that this wig is like a body wave texture but it came out of the packaging like with these really cute like voluminous curls so if you need a wig that's just like quick to like install and like not have too much styling to it this is like a perfect unit and the blonde and pink highlights are just like oh they're so stinking adorable i love this wig so much it was such a vibe but yeah i'm gonna make sure to put all of the information for it down below in the description box as always i am also using all the same products that i typically use so the ebon extreme hold lace adhesive i'm also using the ebon melting spray typically i'll just use the ebon like aerosol spray but i ended up like running it out of it like as i was installing this wig so i ended up using the ebon melting spray too just to kind of like finish up like those edges and everything make sure everything is like looking really secure and like all of the lace is like laying perfectly flat against the skin but yeah um like i mentioned earlier i did chop off all of my hair like oh i'm so <laughs> I'm still getting used to the fact that I have like no hair right now like it's so so short I will honestly say that I cut it like without really thinking about it too much Like I just knew that I really wanted to like start over with like my hair and like growing out like my natural curls I don't know. I was like thinking to myself like oh uh, Like I kind of want to just like grow it out from like the length that I already have Then another part of me was like no, nah, I just like cut it all off and start fresh I don't know. I think by the way like impulsively I just went ahead and cut Cut it all off. <laughs> Um, I'm still trying to get used to it. I think that's the reason why I'm laughing because the part of me is just like, ah, oh, I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it. I'm glad that I'm like starting over with like growing out my natural curls. It's just been like an adjustment trying to get used to the fact that I have no hair now. But honestly, I will say like when I did like cut my hair, it felt really good. As I was cutting my hair, it literally felt like I was letting go of like dead weight almost. And so I'm trying to like hold on to that. That way I'm not like, you know, making myself feel bad for literally chopping all of my hair off, like. <laughs> But yeah, so um, that's pretty much what's going on with like my natural hair. Yeah, I'm gonna be growing out all my natural curls again. I might go shorter with my hair actually. Like the intention was to cut my hair short and then go to like a, like a barber or like a hairstylist and then do like an actual like the styled cut and then just kind of like grow the hair from there. I'm kind of like enjoying the fact though that at this particular length, I can still put my hair in like a little ponytail. So I might just keep it this length and like start from here but i'm still thinking about like you know going with like a full um like pixie cut i'm not really sure i'll let you guys know though like when i do like make the decision like i'll definitely like let you guys know for sure
So this is pretty much what the wig is giving. I did like a cute little half a pat down style, nothing too crazy, just a really simple style, just to really highlight the highlights. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished look for the hair. As I mentioned before, I'll go ahead and put all of the information for this wig down below in the description box. So if you have any questions, just make sure to check the description box. Thank you again to Mega Look Hair Company for sending over this unit. It is bomb. I love it so much. It's such a vibe. Now that we're all done with the hair, let's Let's go ahead and move into this makeup look. So I already did all of my skin prep for skincare, so I'm just gonna jump straight into primer. I'm using one from Fourth Ray. This is the Thirst Aid Priming Moisturizer, and I love the stuff. It's really, really good. I like the fact that it has like hyaluronic acid in it, and it's just super moisturizing, which looks fantastic underneath like my skin products and stuff like that. Since I like to use a lot of powders, it's always nice to have like a really hydrating or like moisturizing primer underneath everything. After primer, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. halo glow liquid filter and this one is in shade number five i've been really loving this underneath my foundation because it's so glowy it's kind of like a glowy base and the fact that it has like that little bit of coverage there it just kind of like makes the skin look that much more like flawless once i'm done putting on my foundation and everything but yeah this underneath like a nice like medium or like light coverage foundation is like literally chef's kiss it gives the skin like a very subtle type of like glow and it's just so so pretty i'm gonna use that and then i'll go ahead and put my foundation on top of it and i use the ColourPop um fresh pretty fresh foundation i think it is and that's in shade 147 warm for concealer i'm using two different ones one is from huda and the other is from il maquillage um the il maquillage one is going to be like the lighter of the two so i'm going to keep that closer to the inner portion of the under eye and then the huda beauty one since it's a little bit closer to my skin tone i use that underneath that lighter shade just to make sure that everything kind of like blends in really well when I'm like going in with my beauty blender. Having two shades with like one being darker than the other just makes it a little bit easier to blend like that brighter concealer into the foundation and make it look more seamless. You guys already know I'm a powder girl so I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with some powders next. For the under eyes I use the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder and Jade Sugar Cookie and then for the rest of the face I use Huda Beauty's Pressed Powder Foundation from the Glowish line in shade number eight eight i try not to go in with like too much powder like on the rest of the face because i still like to kind of keep like that glowiness from like the elf liquid filter And then I'm definitely gonna go in with my bronzer afterward. I'm using the same pressed powder that I used to set the foundation. So the Huda Beauty like um, pressed powder from the Glowish line, but I just used a shade that's like a couple steps darker than my um, foundation shade. So this one is gonna be shade 11. The one that I used to set the foundation was shade number eight. I've been loving this particular powder as like a bronzer. It just like, again, it has like that really nice like luminous type of glow to it. So it looks perfect when I'm trying to achieve like a soft matte type of skin situation, but like still kind of like a little bit on the glowier side. It just kind of keeps like that, you know, aesthetic going. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in shade Peach. Been loving this stuff. I love the undertone, like the peachy undertone. It just looks like super flattering, um, especially if you're trying to like brighten. I'm gonna use that to snatch the sides of the nose as well as the bridge of the nose. And while that is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this eye look. So I actually did my brows off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my brow primer. I'm using one from Be Perfect Cosmetics. It's my my favorite eye primer i literally use it anytime i'm doing an eye look i use this particular primer when it comes to like certain products like that like usually if it's like if it ain't broke i don't fix it you know <laughs> um so yeah i'm just gonna go in with that primer and then set it with just like a tad bit of powder so i have like a nice smooth canvas to kind of work on before i go into shadows i'm pretty much going to be sticking to two palettes for this eyeshadow look the first one is from nova beauty it's their like warm tones like brown eyeshadow palette and then there's another one that i'm using from b bella cosmetics it's their i'm snow cute eyeshadow palette it's i think it's from like a like a collection that they launched like sometime in like the winter um but yeah i'm gonna use a combination of those two particular palettes to achieve this like warm like smoky look that i'm trying to go for there's a lot of like smokiness going on like on the outer corner i definitely went ahead and used like that darker brown from the nova beauty palette and a black eyeshadow from the b bella cosmetics palette to like really deepen up that outer corner like i really wanted the eyes to be like super smoky and very like sultry i definitely made sure to like really pack those colors on and like blend them out like as i was going along on the outer corner and kind of like drag it into the crease there the look is still on the matte side i didn't really use like any type of shimmers i was thinking about it um but yeah i just decided to go with like an all matte eyeshadow look anytime i'm like unsure about like whether or not i should go with like a shimmer or a matte i usually just lean towards like a matte eyeshadow look so but yeah i mostly just wanted to play around with like this nova beauty palette because i had it kind of like hiding in my like eyeshadow palette stash and it's just a palette that I've like had for a while but never really got a chance to use. I am not gonna lie to you guys I was not expecting much from this particular palette from Nova Beauty because I know that like Nova Beauty is affiliated with Fashion Nova like I'm pretty sure that there's that's like their like their sister company like for makeup so i i was not expecting like a whole lot i was like oh i'm probably gonna have to like switch palettes like this probably isn't gonna be that great but i was very pleasantly surprised i was very surprised when i found out like a lot of the eyeshadows pretty much all of the eyeshadows in this particular palette are amazing like the mattes in this palette are really really nice they're super pigmented <laughs> and they blend it out really really easily i just had like a good i had a really good time like using this palette it just worked out so so well i'm actually like really interested to know like if they have like any other color stories i'm pretty sure there's like one that's more cool toned but i'd love to know if they have like one that's like maybe purples or like some blues or something because it's it's giving quality i can't even lie like the palette is really good so yeah i definitely had like a good time using it it really inspired me to like get back into like doing some really fun eyeshadow looks After eyeshadow, I just went ahead and popped on some lashes and mascara. The lashes that I'm using are from Lily, Lash Lily Lashes and they're in the style of Milan. Um, I did like a little smoky, just like a little smokiness on the lower lash line, nothing too crazy. And a little bit of concealer on the outer edge of the eye look just to clean everything up. So 
So that'll be it for the eyes. I just went ahead and added some highlighter to the nose from Rare Beauty. This is their positive light highlighter in the shade Flaunt. I've been loving this stuff. It's just such a good like gold highlighter. I'm just gonna place that on the bridge of the nose as well as the tip of the nose. And then I'll go back in with that Nova Beauty palette to use that um, the lightest matte shade to highlight the inner corner of the eyes. And then from there, I'm just gonna jump into like my little lip combo. I decided to use the NYX Li Line Loud Lip Liner in shade Rebel Kind. It's like a really like beautiful, beautiful warm tones, like dark brown. So I'm gonna line the lips with that first and then I'll just make sure to blend in like the edges of the lip liner so it's not like harsh looking. For lipstick, I'm using a combination of like two different products so the first one is from makeup forever it's through like a matte rouge like liquid lipstick i don't remember the name off the top of my head but it's just like a really cute like warm peachy nude i started use applying that onto the lips using a brush and just made sure to blend it really well into the lip liner and then i kind of wanted the lips to be like a little bit lighter in the center so i went in with the shade paris fling from melt cosmetics this is one of like their matte lipsticks and just place that on the center of the lips and just use my finger to blend everything out and then for the final touch i went in with a brown liquid eyeliner from benefit to detail my little beauty marks so that is the finished look i love the way that it came out i definitely felt like super like just like ready to go out and like have a good time after this i felt so so pretty like the wig and the makeup together was just like a perfect combination and then when i put on my jewelry and stuff it just like came together like so well let me know what you guys think of the look down below in the comments if you guys have tried this any of the, like the nova beauty products definitely let me know in the comments as well i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts like on any other products i should probably try from them but sending all of my love to you guys thank you again for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next one